Hey everybody, this is Franco, and I wanted to give you a quick update on my Precision Matthews PM25 MV uh, spindle speed upgrade that I'm working on on this machine. So I guess this would be like part two of what might end up being a three-part uh, series of videos. So the first, the first video I kind of showed you the design. Uh, this video I have the uh, I have it built, but I I'm in the middle of uh, upgrading bearings, so I don't have the uh, quill spindle installed right now. But I have enough of this put together that you can see how this works. So the the goal here was to uh, double the RPM. I think these these little milling machines come from the factory. They go about 2,200 RPM. I like to machine a lot of aluminum, so I need to go a little bit faster. So I decided to build this apparatus up here to give me a, a second set of pulleys so I could double the RPM. So the top set of pulleys here on the factory setup is like a one-to-one -one ratio. And uh, this set of pulleys up here is a two-to-one or one-to-two ratio. So every revolution of the motor shaft gives me you know, two revolutions here at the half shaft. So let me fire this up, let you see how it works. I can't run it for a real long time because these, these factory bearings get pretty warm. Um, uh, based on my experience with my other machine, after I replace those bearings, that uh, problem starts to go away. But let's turn this thing on and see what happens. So there we are at 3000 RPM. And uh, it's pretty good, pretty good there, running like that. There's a tiny bit of vibration, but it's it's not excessive. Uh, definitely no worse than my Grizzly. In fact, it's it's better than my Grizzly. Uh, so I guess I'll take it. And you know, the fact of the matter is, you know, these machines were never meant. They were never originally designed to go much more than that. That was the original maximum RPM, and there isn't really any vibration at all at you know 2,200 RPM. It's pretty good. Um, but now with the upgrade, I can crank it up to three. I can actually get this thing up to uh, well, there's four. It's over four. I can actually get this thing up close to five, but it's not happy. It's not happy up there. So it, yeah, it's not real happy running at 5,000 RPM. That's for sure. But it will do it. And I'm hoping that once I replace the bearings that it's uh, smoother, well not smoother running, but let, runs with less friction. So, yeah, just a few shots here so you can see this thing running. This uh, timing belt up on top, I thought maybe there'd be a little bit of a hum coming from that thing because it has teeth, but it's pretty good. It's pretty quiet, actually. Uh, one thing I discovered when you cut this cable, there's like eight wires in there, so be prepared to do a lot of soldering if you're going to do something like this. And I, I need to cover these up, some kind of wire cover, but for now... It's okay, I can just hang there. So there you go. That's the uh, Precision Matthews PM25MV uh, spindle speed doubler. Hopefully this is going to work. I don't know, I guess I'll find out after I run more parts how well it's going to uh, do the job. But so far so good. I am going to pop some new bearings in this machine and I hope that lets it run just a little bit cooler. I'm sure it will. Tapered rollers make a lot of friction. I'm sure that whatever bearings, you know, in this, uh, this thing where the spindle slips down in, they're probably not, you know, designed for this speed. Um, you know, these little machines, you know, they don't cost a whole lot of money. Uh, so you have to, you know, sometimes when I get working on them, I kind of get like, you become obsessive compulsive because you're trying to make everything perfect. You know, you want the want this thing to run smooth with like zero vibration. Yeah, you know, that's 
you can't expect perfection when you're uh, you know dealing with stuff at this price point. You know you have to be you have to be reasonable. The the closer you get to trying to make something perfect, just the the harder and harder and harder, more difficult it becomes to to get it there. So got to stay focused on the big picture. You know you're trying to make a functional CNC machine, right? So you don't want to obsess over the details. But you know so far I'm pretty happy uh, with this little upgrade. I I think it's going to work pretty well. And uh, I think it's going to let me make a lot of uh, a lot of parts in aluminum, and uh, we'll just keep on moving. So there you go. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you have any any thoughts or comments or suggestions, um, I would love to hear if anybody knows more about the electronics and these control boxes. I'm sure there's probably some some little uh, settings or some pots or dip switches or something that can be adjusted in there to, to change things. If you know anything about that, it might be helpful. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, be safe and uh, catch you later.